Hey everybody, welcome back to the garage where I'm working on my 66 Fastback project car. Um, there were a couple spots that needed some welding done. There were a couple rust holes. Um, the right rear quarter panel wasn't uh, secured. It was just tacked into place. So um, just need to do some welding. I'm not a welder. I've used uh, flux core MIG welding in the past, but it was, it was a bit rough. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be honest. Um, so today I'm uh, going to get some practice in with my new to me welder. Uh, also got a fancy new uh, self darkening helmet. So I'll show you those and then uh, we'll get some practice in trying to stick some metal together and see if I can't make it look pretty decent. So first up, let's take a look at uh, my new helmet. It's a quick view, true color, auto darkening, welding helmet, HD filter optics, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, apparently you can adjust the uh, the shades um, from four to 13, I don't know how this works. I have no idea. Like I said, I'm not a welder. Um, but we'll take a look at it here and see what she looks like. Got a uh, nice little how the heck do you use this manual, which is good. Hopefully there's some stuff in there. Add them, to the, uh, add them to the toolbox. Looks like there are a couple replacement uh, lenses as well, just in case anything gets scratched up. So there are a couple different options. There's one, I don't know if you can see that or not, um, with a larger screen and then, or opening port, I guess. Uh, and then one smaller one. I just went with the smaller one. It's just this bottom half as opposed to the whole thing. Um, pretty significant price difference. So I think this is uh, perfectly sufficient for me. Uh, and I guess on the outside here, this is where you can adjust the auto darkening. So that's nine all the way down to grind. So I'm assuming that makes it clear. So you can wear this while grinding. So you, it's protective. I also have my just regular grinding shield here. Um, it'd be nice if I didn't have to switch back and forth. Um, and then on the inside, uh, if you can see up, up in here, there's some uh, there's sensitivity and then delay right there. So you can adjust that. Um, I think that's the initial setup. And then the, on the outside here, this is where you can set the dimness or dimming. This is my new to me welder. Uh, it's a Lincoln Weld Pack 3200 HD. Uh, it does MIG as well as flux core. Um, I obviously bought it used, but I got the welder. I got a, a small tank of gas. It's a 7525 um, nitrous argon mix, I believe. Um, <clears throat> came with, behind this uh, cover here, about a half roll of uh, 0 0.030 wire, which is kind of the happy medium, I guess. Um, came out of cart. So I don't know how I'm gonna do. I don't know how well it'll go, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So here's my first weld. It's not good. Uh, you can see there's a whole lot of uh, popping. It's not consistent. The bead looks like dookie. I wasn't centered. Um, penetration is absolute trash, but this is why we do it. This is why we practice. So I guess uh, we'll get back after it. So turns out when you don't have the gas, the shielding gas on, uh, that's how you get all boogered welds over there. But you can see this weld looks much better. It's still not good. Probably a little too much wire speed. You can see it's standing uh, pretty proud on there. It's pretty thick. Um, but penetration looks better. So what I think I need to do is slow the wire speed down a little bit and uh, slow my passes down. But we'll see.
Nope, that ain't it. Let's speed that right back up. Maybe I was going the opposite direction. Or the wrong direction. Burned right through there. Maybe I was correct the first go around. Oh, uh, you fellas have nothing to worry about. I'm a professional. Let's try this again, shall we? This is the real test on uh, how trash my welds are. Well, the rest of the metal's deflecting. The welds aren't bending, so I guess that's good enough. Body panels aren't gonna fall off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to uh, cut another couple of pieces and just try tack welding because that, that's how you do body panels. Um, so you don't deform, you don't blow through. What you do is you just do little uh, little tack welds every half inch or so, <laughs> let it cool, come back, fill in, fill in, fill in, fill in until ultimately it's uh, all welded up and then you grind it back smooth, fill it with some body filler, prime it, or prime it, fill with body filler, and paint it and the car's almost done. Well, let's see how this goes. So you can probably see this piece of metal here that has random holes in it. You can see uh, little you know, grind spots. Um, the rear valance this is the back of the car, by the way. There's, there's a panel that goes here that finishes out the uh, taillight holes and, and whatnot, and then connects all the way across there and then connects to, um, this is for the uh, trunk latch. Um, the bottom of it just got spot welded at the factory all the way across to this piece. Um, the problem here is some of this rusted away. You can see right here. Um, that's supposed to continue all the way into there. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do or attempt to do is remake that piece. All right. So you saw me cutting uh, some of that steel earlier just for practice so what i'm going to do is get some measurements here i'll probably cut this bit off right here um and then i'll make a little piece from here to here um weld it up underneath and at a 90 degree try and tack it in here uh right on the right on the edge so it's uh you know pretty strong but it's not it's not a structural piece uh as long as it is relatively strong it should be good um these little notches right here this one and then this one here are for the license plate bolts but uh that's the next step here so what i'm gonna do is i'll cut off and i'll probably cut out this you know bit here it's it's a bit mangled um so i'll go ahead and cut those two bits out and uh try and get them welded in see how it goes All right, so you probably saw me start cutting off more random stuff. Um, so that initial piece was right here. That That's not a big deal. Um, but then I noticed here, which I don't know what gets mounted there, but there's a little J-clip um, in that round hole. But this big hole where my pinky is, 
is not supposed to be there. So I started poking at it a little bit with my uh, my screwdriver and it it's all kinds of rusted. This is a uh, pretty thick steel, uh, you know, it's body panel was a 18 gauge, something like that. I should not be able to just fold it in half like that one handed. So tons of rust, tons of rot in there. So I went ahead and uh, just cut it out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take this piece, I'm going to trace it out on uh, that piece of steel I have over there and clean up around the edges here. And this will be my first first try at tacking a new piece of metal in there. Wish me luck. So what I'm trying to do here is, since this bottom cut right here is relatively straight, I'm trying to get it lined up with the edge of the new piece. That way I have to cut one less thing. Well, here goes nothing. I really need to get a scribe. But I would rather cut this out large and then that's that hole right there uh, I'd rather cut it out large and then have to cut it back a little bit um, as opposed to cutting it small and ruining the entire piece so time to grind it out So, I don't know if you saw, but I had to remake it. I wasn't happy with the fit, but this fits in here reasonably well. Um, I'm actually okay with how it fits. Let's kind of focus there. Um, I think I'll, you know, I'll have to get maybe a bit creative, but we'll see. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. There, I'm sure there'll be some hammer and dolly work going on. Um, you know, this is a little dented in right here, so I'll probably have to, uh, you know, bang that out a little bit but we'll see see how it goes welcome to body work I have a feeling for the time being, I'm going to be a very good grinder. So I didn't, I didn't, well, I'm not gonna touch it because it's really hot. I didn't weld up that bottom bit because I had to bend it in a little bit. So what I did is I did a horrendous job tacking it on the three sides. Um, just, you saw me grind it back a little bit there. Uh, and you can see where I ground it. And it looks like I missed a little bit of uh, rust there. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with that. Um, but I hammered on it and it didn't go anywhere. So that's good. Um, so I'll continue tacking it in and uh, farting around trying to trying to learn as I go. Let's see how she fits. I am actually very, very okay with that. I may keep the 
fiberglass bumper. I might keep the chrome one. I don't, I have no idea. I have one of each. Um, but for a 60s Mustang, I mean, this is better than they fit from the factory. Um, follows the body lines nicely here. Um, the This little valance here is just kind of tacked into place. So I need to cheat it a little bit to the left. It's overhanging slightly. Um, but follows the body lines nicely. Fits reasonably well over here as well. Again, following the body lines nicely. Um, if you look down here, see how there's this gap right here. It's, I'm, I'm okay because it's nice and consistent. I just need to cheat this red piece left basically half this distance so that way it's even on both sides. Um, I'm all right with that. I think that quarter panel is ready to get tacked in and actually welded and then seam sealed. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I can tackle that little bracket to uh, that, that the this mounts to on the bottom. And then I can, I've already marked all of them, drill all those holes and start spot welding the panel in. And then that's that's the last of the body work on the back end that I need to do. So um, making good progress and really excited about the welder. Um, you know, I know it's not the, the highest dollar one in the world. I bought it used, um, but it works as far as I know really well. Um, it's, it's definitely more capable than I am. And I know I'm making a total mess over here. The auto darkening welding helmet, I would give it two thumbs up, but I'm holding my camera. It'd be Siskel and Ebert, two thumbs up, 100%, absolutely love it. Um, I don't know how I welded with that one before. Well, y'all, that's it for the day. Um, I am still, it's very much a work in progress, um, trying to figure out how the heck to weld. You gotta feel, you know, make that little bracket. Um, some of the rust needs to get fixed still. Um, but making progress, the quarter panel, I'm really, really happy with how it looks. Uh, so I appreciate y'all coming along and uh, hopefully enjoy the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, all the other, you know, standard YouTube stuff. But uh, I appreciate it and I'll see you around.